Placidit. One of the amazing products that I use in stealing my EVA foam and that many cosplayers use for stealing their EVA foam. But you, if you're like a lot of people, you may have had this experience. You just finished getting your cosplay built in the EVA foam. You're ready to paint. You're super excited. It's looking great. You go with your plastic dip, you go out there, just to have it come out with like a sputtery mess or it gets out and you have like all this like texture and bumps that come out on it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a nice smooth spray from your plastic dip so that it doesn't ruin your day. <laughs> if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, or if you haven't hit that bell notification or subscribed yet, go ahead and do so now. That way you're notified whenever we come out with these quick tip clip videos. And uh, with that, if you've ever had that experience, uh, in the comments below, go ahead and type, been there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how, give you some tips on how to get a nice smooth spray from your Plasti Dip. So, first things first, Plasti Dip does not function like a primer or filler. It's not gonna hide any kind of little imperfections or gaps or things like that, um, or you know bumps that already exist in your product underneath. Uh, you'll want if you're wanting to do that you're going to need to do some filling uh, in your cosplay before you go to the plastic dip because it actually goes on pretty thin and takes on whatever it is that's underneath so that being said i would highly recommend i know this is just I keep talking about our what the phone but it really is just an amazing product and i'm super excited about it and it helps solve a lot of the problems we run into um, so with our what the phone the surface is already a lot smoother you're not going to get a textured uh, bumpiness to the foam just from working with it and different things like that. It's actually going to be very, very smooth right off the bat. So that's going to help you out. So I would recommend using What the Foam because it's going to set you off on a great foot when you go to put your plastic down. Okay, that being said, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get a bowl of hot water. I like to just put it in the sink, turn the tap water on as hot as it can go once it gets nice and hot. Fill up a bowl with hot water. You're gonna set your plastic dip in there. Let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. And then pull it out, shake it up. If it if it starts to get a little, if the can starts to cool down and get a little bit cooler to the touch, um, as you shake that, then go ahead and put more hot water in the bowl, stick it back in there for a, a couple more minutes and continue that process until it, it stays about room temperature when you're when you shake the can, okay? And what that does is with the Plasti Dip nice and warm, it's actually gonna be able to atomize better and it's gonna give a nice smoother, a lot smoother spray. It's not gonna glob up as it comes out, okay? So that's gonna help a ton. The next thing that's gonna be a huge help is when you're actually spraying it on. So contrary to some, uh, some things I've seen with people recommending different things for spraying Plasti Dip, where they say to do a bunch of like light coats, um, actually what I found to be the case is that when you do that you actually end up with more bumps because it doesn't actually self level it doesn't have enough plastic dip on there to be able to get a nice smooth surface so um, you can see here so this I've added a leather effect to this so the the surface kind of looks a little bit more bumpy kind of thing because of the leather effect in the in and the this foam. Is under the scales yeah under the scales here in between is what is just plastic dip actually um, it gives a really nice leather look, and so I didn't even mess with trying to do another paint coat on that. Um, but you can see it's very smooth. There's not like speckles. There's no, here's a good area right here where there's not any scales. It just took exactly what was underneath um, and didn't add any unwanted texture, right? So what I recommend is not doing a bunch of just uh, light coats and trying to build it up that way but to do what um, some people refer to, like that do it with automotive things, as laying down a wet coat, right? So what that means is you're gonna, I'm not gonna do it in here because this stuff's really stinky, but you're gonna um, overlap, you're gonna do your sprays, and you're gonna overlap, if your spray width is like this, you're gonna do your next one where it overlaps halfway over your previous one. So if it's like this, you're gonna do that. And you wanna just go around your whole cosplay and get a nice good coat on there. So I like to use the black because it does have a sheen when it's wet and so you can kind of tell. You need to dance this fine line between um, getting a nice wet coat but not putting too much on to where it starts to drip. Especially if you're, uh, if it's something like, um, you know, a helmet or something like that. 
and you have, or any type of piece, and you've got it sitting there and you have these vertical sides, um, you want to make sure that you're not loading too much on to where it starts to, to drip because once that happens, it's really hard to fix. Um, so you want to get a nice coat on there to where it's shiny, it's glossy, uh, you can tell that it's covered and wet all along it, but don't go too far to where it starts to, to drip, okay? So you don't want to put it on too light, you don't want to put it on too heavy, but you want to have a nice, good, glossy looking kind of surface once you've gone across it, that wet coat. Because then what it does is it actually self levels as it dries and gives you that really smooth surface. Okay, if you do it in the light coats, what that tends to do is end up kind of building up some areas, and then the next time it goes through, it builds up another area, and you end up with those bumps. So to get a really nice smooth surface, you want to do a wet coat, okay? And just don't go too far to where you get drips. Okay, so that's the basic tips I have for, for this. Once again, start with a really smooth surface, the surface that you want it to be because the plastic dip will take what's on there and that'll come through. Second, warm up your plastic dip to where it's at a nice warm temperature so it atomizes better, comes out in a lot um, finer spray to be able to lay down that coat. Do nice overlapping and get a nice wet coat laid down and then let it dry. I usually, if it's warm outside, I do you know 50 degrees or above. I will do it outside and do like 10 to 15 minute uh, wait time. If it's a little bit colder, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer between each coats. I usually end up doing about three, three coats, three or four. Um, one thing that's super handy um, is with what the foam. Our base coat, our uh, base that we recommend is the four millimeter, but then we have a gray six and a red two. And the nice thing with that is usually with the, um, those layers is that with the red and the gray, when you're doing your plastic dip, you can tell kind of once you've had enough coats because you're not gonna see that red or gray shining through anymore. And that helps you. It's a little bit harder to tell on some black foams because it's all black and it's hard to be able to tell kind of if you've gotten a good enough coat. But usually about three or four will do it. I was just wondering if you could link the automotive painting. Yeah, so I've seen some great uh, automotive tutorials um, where they use it for just like, you know, doing a matte surface on cars or, um, you know, different things like that. I'll put a link in the description as well to a really good one where he goes through and you actually see this application in process uh, on just a piece of metal. And so that we can get a nice visual for it. I didn't want to spray in here in this small space, um, but hopefully that's enough to, to get you on your way and really help you be able to get your um, plastic dip nice and smooth. It's worked for me and I highly recommend it. Great results. So thank you guys so much. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumb it down. Uh, otherwise, subscribe so you get these notifications. And if this was helpful for you, share it with a friend that you know it will help as well. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure I want to hear from you what your greatest challenge is when it comes to cosplay. Um, if you haven't answered that yet, go ahead and answer that in the comments below. And then that helps me to know what questions I can look for answers to, or if I know the answer to, we can create a video for it. And hopefully your question will be answered in an upcoming video. Thank you guys so much, and cosplay on, my friends.